Hello, in this video I'm going to show you eight different things you can do after installing Linux Mint. The first thing I'm going to do is locate the best server for my update downloads and this will enable for quicker downloads. So I'm going to go to the software manager and then I'm going to go to edit and then to software sources. This is where you can configure what types of packages to download and I'm going to leave all the settings at default and I'm going to go to download from and in the drop down menu I'm going to click other here you can select the server to download from or you can click on the select best server button and it will find the best server for you and I'm going to click on the button it says a series of tests will be performed to find the best mirror for your location and it's found the best server and again there's other configurations you can play with I always leave mine at the defaults and I'm going to click close the second thing I do is install updates so I go to menu and in the search box I'm going to type updates and then I'm going to click on the update manager you want to make sure your system has the most current updates in order for it to run efficiently and be more safe and secure and even if you just installed Linux Mint you'll still want to check for updates and after installing updates I always check again a lot of times there will be updates that accompany the previous updates and I'm going to click refresh And right now I don't have any updates to install, but if you did have updates, you just click the Install Updates button here. The third thing I always do is install proprietary drivers, and this would include drivers for the network cards, graphic cards, etc. I'm going to go to Menu, and then under All, I'm going to go to Additional Drivers. And this will check and see if there's any additional drivers that you can install to make the system run better. And right now the only additional driver that I have is already activated. If you have one come up that isn't already activated, just highlight it and click activate. The fourth thing I do is install codecs. And this could have been done at the beginning of the installation of the operating system. If you check the box to install third party software. If the box wasn't checked, you'll need to install Ubuntu's restricted extras. You'll need these codecs for videos, movies, games, etc. So I'm going to go to the software manager. And in the search box, I'm going to type Restricted. And right at the top, I'm going to double click on Ubuntu Restricted Extras. And to the right of the page, I'm going to click Install. And while it's installing, I'll read this real quick for you. Installing this package will pull in support for MP3 playback and decoding, support for various other audio formats, Microsoft fonts, Flash plugins lame and DVD playback. So if you're having problems playing videos, movies, or games, you'll want to install the restricted extras. And it's finished installing the restricted extras. So next in the search box, I'm going to type My Unity. With My Unity, you can customize the launcher, dash, your panel, desktop, you can also customize fonts and themes. I'm not going to go through all this right now. I just want to show you that it is available through the software manager. The sixth thing I always do is turn on my firewall. So I go to menu and then to control center and then to firewall configuration. And when it first opens, I'm going to go down to the lower right corner and click on the unlock button and then give my password. And then I'm going to turn the firewall on. And now the firewall is active. Under incoming, there's a drop down menu. This is where you select how to deal with incoming and outgoing connections. Under edit, you can add a rule, remove a rule, reload rules, and reset the firewall. And the seventh thing I do is go back to software manager and confirm that Flash has been installed. So in the search box, I'm going to type Flash. And the first on the list, Adobe Flash plugin, I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to click the install button. And the last thing I'm going to show you for the video is how to configure Firefox before surfing the internet. So under applications, I'm going to go to the internet and then to Firefox. Next, I'm going to go to edit and then to preferences. And the most important things to me are under the general tab. 
I always set my home page to Google under privacy I check tell websites I do not want to be tracked and I set my browsing history to never be remembered under security I leave all three options checked and it would be a matter of preference if you wanted it to remember your passwords from all your websites and that's eight things you can do after installing Linux Mint by no means does it show everything you can do there are other things such as setting up email clients, installing more games, and installing media players. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.